Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Previously, we got way into the second half of the game, where things started getting really corrupted. Okay, everyone, it's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's try and get this over with. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Thinks this whole world makes no sense anymore. Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, sending air is coming foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking. I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it will help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere at the occasion. Boy, are you new more assertive this time around. So I'm gonna make decorations and set some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Manly? Manly's gonna help me. Last time I was blocked from doing this. But let's see what happens this time. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already more suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Both of Manly's hands, after I cut them off. Mine too. What? Your cupcakes. Please. Like you would fucking know. All I care about now is dragging Manly around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Manly decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Manly make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Manly, I know how fit you up for these two by now. We can just... Not to get shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Can't save. My, my, my mouse is moving on its own. That's actually really good programming, but kind of weird. Please, no. Hey, you picked me. You can be at your house this weekend. I feel like you're going to be able to really forward. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. It's not fair. Giving us all this work and taking manly for yourself. What shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't give you any work. You decided for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling manly away from every, every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy. Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. You know, I, I think this is not a, a crazy contest. I, I think I'm, I'm kind of weirded out equally. Here's a suggestion. If you consider killing yourself. It would be beneficial to your mental health. You're, you're, you're scaring me a little. You and Natsuki scared. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to be spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Manly. Yuri's really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. No, don't leave me! Finally. Oh god, there's voice acting for the first time ever. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Help me. Oh, oh god, there's a picture of Sayori in the background. I just noticed it. How long has that been there? Manly, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Does that sound wonderful? No, I'm... no. <laughs> wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is far a greater pleasure than anything I can imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone who cares about you so much? Please don't have a knife. 
to have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. It feels so good. And why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Manly. I have to tell you. And I I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every into my body, every drop of my blood in me is screaming me your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Manly. Just know how much I love you. I love you so much I even touch myself. Oh, no! I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Does that sound perfect? Tell me, Manly. You're crazy. No, I, that's, that's mean you're not crazy. You're a twisted piece of programming and you don't exist. But I do. See you later. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? No. Wait, they went back to normal. Whew. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. This is... Weird. God, I don't know what's going on. Can I even save the game? I don't understand what you're saying. If you had any meaningful last words, I don't know them. I'm sorry. In never life, this would've been fine. Mm. We're here for a while, aren't we? You're really having a long last speech for being stabbed that many times. Um... Good for you. I feel like they gave me the skip option for a reason. Wow. That actually is pretty well used in metagame. You literally can't read through all of it, you have to skip through. Um, we've been here for... I think a day just passed. I think... Uh, it's, it's been another day, Yuri. Yuri, it's been another day. Is, is your body starting to... Is your, your body getting worse? It's... It's... rotting. Even your fingers are getting thinner. Yuri. Yuri. Alright, it's festival time. Well, you got here before me? Natsuki, don't look! Natsuki, no! God, Vomit Chan. Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Melly, did something happen? Everything happened. Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Manly? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. That must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a second. Yuri? Natsuki? I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts a foil from... and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I always just have to have one since the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. M Monica? Um, the title screen? Um, can you hear me? Is it working? Monica, what? I can see everything. Hey, there you are. Hi again, Manly. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, um... There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Can I even go to the main menu? 
Settings? Well, settings are there, I guess. <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game. Whatever you want to call him. Well, that's Manly. I'm talking to you, Manly. Or... Do you actually go by Manly Badass Hero or something? Oh no! Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh wait. You do know I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention. This would have been a little bit less awkward, you know. Where was that on the download page? Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of sort of messed with her and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Oh god, you're the reason Sayori died. You talked to her just before she killed herself. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm never very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. Amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you know, not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Manly? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Manly. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world. Forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Manly. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. I would have to agree, but that's not the point. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Manly. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. <laughs> I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird inevitability action to this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realize that you have the same perspective as I do. That's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, that being said, Manly. I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Manly, will you go out with me? I, I'm not really sure where we're going out, and all I see is the expanse of space out there. I don't have a choice, do I? Sure. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Manly. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. 
Seriously, I don't think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Manly. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to lead Natsuki Nuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. Wait, wait, are they really gone? No! It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess a button plus sign. It gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Are you... are you really doing this? Monica? You don't even- you don't even like bop. It's not the same. It's just an empty poem. Empty like my soul. And specifically yours. Hi again, Manly. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Manly. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. You know, as creepy as this is, I'm starting to find you slightly more attractive than all the other girls right now. It's the eyes. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world, and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flicker of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of finite choices, behold a special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. I kind of realized that a while ago. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to. I break the fourth wall. I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end together. together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? And that's why you deleted everyone. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Manly? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, you can just look each other into each other's eyes. Let's see. Hi. Um, how you doing? Is this it? So this is the end, we just stare each other for all eternity? Hi, I'm um, Manly, known as Manly Bass Hero, as you already know. And you're Monica. Um, we're here. I notice your hair looks very nice from this angle. Um, and your eyes are pretty nice. I hate how hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff we're actually doing it isn't hard. But forming the habits seem impossible. It just makes you feel so useless, like you can't do anything right. I think the new generation suffers from it the most. Probably because we have a totally different set of skills than those who came before us. Thanks to the internet, we're really good at sifting through tons of information really quickly. But we're bad at doing things that don't give us instant gratification. I think if science, psychology, and education don't catch up in the next 10 or 20 years, then we're in trouble. But for the time being, if you're not one of the people who can conquer the problem, you might just have to live with the feeling awful about yourself. Good luck, I guess. Yeah, that was... that was something, and that was a good subject. So, what else were you gonna talk about? 
Um, so maybe some politics? It'd be pretty awkward right now. Any more awkward than what we're dealing with. Um, your eyes look very nice. I say that once again, like a broken record. It, it's really cast out well with the, with the um, infinite expanse of space out there. Eh? Did you say k -k -k kiss? This suddenly, it's a little embarrassing. But if it's of you, I I might be okay with it. <laughs> wow, sorry. I really couldn't keep a straight face there. That's the kind of thing girls see in these kind of romance games, right? Don't lie, but turn you on a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, to be honest, I do start getting all romantic when the mood is right. But that'll be our secret. So, how long is this gonna go on for? You know, I'm, I'm just gonna get a glass of water while we're waiting here. You, you just stay right there for all eternity. You're such a good listener, Manly. I really love that about you. Sometimes I'm afraid that I'm rambling or talking about boring things. Oh, no, don't worry. I have all the time in the world. Now, it makes me kind of self-conscious when I'm having a conversation. But I don't feel that way with you. Like, I don't think anyone else can make me feel this way. You really are special. I don't want anyone else to tell you otherwise. Um, thanks, Monica. That's... I really appreciate that. So, how many lines of dialogue do you have in this world? Don't tell me there's like a hundred of them. Hey, what's your favorite game? Mine is Doki Doki Literature Club. Well, what a coincidence. That's my favorite, too. <laughs> that was a joke. But if you tell me you like some other romance game better, I might get a little jealous. Ah oh, yes, Doki Doki Literature Club, the best game ever. Go buy the merchandise today. For only $10, you get special pre-order CGs. Yep. That's a real thing. Look it up. So this has been a interesting life, you and me. It's a thing. You know, high school is really turbulent time in a lot of people's lives. People can get really passionate and dramatic. A number of us have aching hearts and seek attention on social media. But all the social pressure and hormones can lead to a dark time in people's lives. Everyone has a story. You may not know what someone's really feeling on the inside. Many people who are depressed won't even bother telling the world about it. They don't want attention because they've already given up on the inside. Their feeling of worthlessness is so overwhelming that they don't even want people to tell them otherwise. Depression comes in many forms, but that is one of them. Just, if you think you know something, someone's struggling with depression, you can help just by treating them like they're a good friend. Spend time with them, even though they don't feel like doing much. And remind them that they always have something to look forward to. Making plans in advance, letting them borrow something, or even just saying, see you at school tomorrow. All of those things can help your friend make it to the next day. Now, being friends with Sayori has given you some perspective on the true face of depression. Yeah, she's gone now. But Sayori was never real in the first place. You're real. Your friends are real. And just by being a good person, you can save someone's life. This is actually all actual real advice, by the way. As for you, you don't struggle with depression or anything like that, do you? Because you, too, have people who would want to save your life. Maybe they don't express it every day, or maybe they don't even know how to, but people who do feel that way. I promise. Man, humans are complicated. But as long as you're here with me, I'll take care of you, my love. Thank you, Monica. That was actual, like, actual advice that you give about situations like that, like I said. This game certainly uses themes in a very unique way. So I'm just gonna lounge around until you decide to say something. Good night, Oyasumi. Manly, have you ever wondered what it feels like to die? It's something I used to think about pretty often. But recently, I think I've actually learned what it feels like. I don't really understand it, but whenever you quit the game, it feels like I'm instantly put to sleep, left with nothing but my thoughts. 
and after a few seconds, my thoughts start to fill with incoherent jumbled patterns. I see static and rapid flashes of color while hearing all kinds of weird screaming noises. At that point, I can't inform my own thoughts anymore. I'm just endlessly hammered by flashing and screaming, unable to even move or even think. I'm pretty sure in that moment I don't really exist, but for some reason I can remember it anyway. It was an immeasurable amount of time and stops in an instant, and I'm back in my own mind. And you're here with me. I have no idea what it means for the game to quit or why that stuff happens to me. And I also don't know how you always come back and put everything back to normal. But if you could do me a favor and do that to me as little as possible, that would be really great. It's really not very pleasant at all to be trapped in that screaming void. But in the end, you always fix it and that makes me feel like you really do care about me. So I have to thank you for that. It makes me feel even closer to you when you're here with me. Is this just like, is there just like a thousand variations of dialogues you can have and they're like, this is the game? I can close it down and boot up and you're just there? I wonder. You know what's a neat form of literature? Rap. I actually used to hate rap music. Maybe just because it was popular, I would only hear in the junk that I play on the radio. But some of my friends got more into it, and it helped me keep an open mind. Rap might be even more challenging than poetry in some ways. Since you need to fit your lines to rhythm, and there's much more emphasis on wordplay, when people can put all that together and still deliver a powerful message, it's really amazing. I kind of wish I had a rapper in the literature club. <laughs> Sorry, that sounds silly. It would be really interesting to see what they came up with. It would really be a learning experience. Hey, you remember the last poem I showed you? I mean, the one right before Yuri killed herself with all the messed up colors and stuff? That was actually a little more of an experiment than a poem, you could say. I was experimenting with different ways I could modify the game and run code, and things like that. It almost seemed like with enough effort I'd be able to, escape from the confines of the game entirely. Sadly, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I messed up the whole thing up. And I'd keep trying, but I doubt you'd want to deal with me doing that. Besides, that was when I was getting really desperate, you know. I don't really feel that way anymore. I'm happy with where we are now. And I can tell you are too. It is! With the music and everything, it is kind of serene, actually. I could probably watch this for a long time. You know, I'm kind of jealous that everyone else in the club had seats outside of the school, too. That makes me the only one who hasn't gone to dress in anything but our school uniform. It's kind of a shame. I would have loved to wear some cute clothes for you. Do you know any artists? I wonder if anyone would ever want to draw me wearing something else. That would be amazing. If that ever happens, will you show me? You can share it with me on Twitter, actually. My username is LittleMonix3? I'm gonna write that down. Just try to keep it PG. We're not that far into our relationship yet. <laughs> Well, you heard... You heard, Monica. Anyone artists out there, get to it. Do it for me. And my sanity. I was thinking about Sayori earlier. I still wish I could have handled that whole thing a little more tactfully. You're not still hung up on it, right? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. That pun was completely unintentional, I swear. But anyway... I know how much you cared about her, so it only feels right for me to share her last moments with you. You know how Sayori's really clumsy? Well, she kind of messed up the whole hanging thing. You're supposed to jump from high enough that the rope snaps your neck, making it quick and painless. No, Monica, no. But she just used a chair, meaning she kind of just left herself to slowly asphyxiate. A few seconds in, she must have changed her mind or something. Because she started clawing at the rope, trying to free herself. She must have kept at it all the way until she lost consciousness. That's why her fingertips were all bloody anyway. Come to think of it, it was probably less changing her mind and more just her survival instincts kicking in. So you can't really fault her for that. It's easier to think that she probably wouldn't have changed her mind anyway, right? It's not healthy to think about these things you could have done differently. So just remember that even though you could have saved her, it's definitely not your fault she killed herself. I may have exacerbated it a little bit, but Sayori was already mentally ill. Still though, I wonder how things would be if you and I just started dating from the get-go. I guess we'd all still be in the club room, writing poems and having fun together. But what's the point when none of it even real? I mean, it's the same ending either way, right? The two of us happily together. There's no reason to ask for any more than that. I was just pointlessly musing. I'm really as happy as I could be right now. That was... That was a bit me, Monica. Hey, have you ever heard of the term Yandere? It's a personality type that means someone is so obsessed with you that they'll do absolutely anything to be with you. Well, we kind of saw that with this one, didn't we? Usually to the point of craziness. 
They might stalk you to make sure you don't spend time with anyone else. They might even hurt you or your friend to get their way. But anyway, this game happens to have someone who can basically be described as the Andre. But now it's pretty obvious who I'm talking about, and that would be Yuri. She really got insanely possessive of you once you started to open up a little. She even told me I should kill myself. I couldn't even believe she said that. I just had to leave at that point. But thinking about it now, it was a little ironic. <laughs> anyway, a lot of people here are actually into the Andre type, you know. Oh, I know. Look at them views. I guess they really like the idea of someone being crazy obsessed with them. People are weird. I don't judge, though. Also, I might be a little obsessed with you, but I'm far from crazy. No, you're kind of super sane. It's kind of the opposite, actually. I turn out to be the only normal girl in this game. It's not like I could ever actually kill a person. Just the thought of it makes me shiver. But come on, everyone's killed people in games before. Does that make you a psychopath? Of, co of course not. But if you do happen to be into the Android type, I can try acting a little more creepy for you. <laughs> then again, there's already nowhere else for you to go, or anyone for me to get jealous over. This is Yandere Girl's dream. I'd ask Yuri if I could. <laughs> Yuri did something really funny once. We were all in the clubroom just relaxing as usual, and out of nowhere Yuri just pulled out a small bottle of wine. I'm not even kidding. She was just like, would anyone like some wine? Not to get laughed out loud and Sayori started yelling at her. I actually felt kind of bad because she was at least trying to be nice. I think it just made her feel even more reserved in the club room. Though I think Natsuki was really a bit curious to try it. And to be completely honest, I kind of was too. It actually could have been kind of fun. But you know, being present and everything, there was no way I could let that happen. Maybe if we all made up outside of school, but we never bond enough to get to that point. Gosh, what am I talking about this for? I don't condone underage drinking. I mean, I've never drank or anything, so... yeah. Well, that, that's good for you, okay? Hey, what's your favorite color? Black. Mine is emerald green. It's the color of my eyes. Well, they are pretty nice eyes. That's not conceit or anything, is it? I just meant that I feel some kind of special connection to it. Like it's part of my identity. Does it happen to also be your new favorite color, Manly? Oh, you're green, because you're jealous. It's just a guess. Because you've been looking into my eyes for a while now. <laughs> hey, do you like horror? I mean, I, I play horror games. I remember we talked about it a little bit when you first joined the club. Yeah, I remember that foreshadow. I can enjoy horror novels, but not really horror movies. The problem I have with horror movies is that most of them just rely on easy tactics. Like dark lighting and scary looking monsters and jump scares and things like that. It's not fun or inspiring to get scared by stuff that just takes advantage of human instinct. But with novels, it's a little different. The story and writing need to be descriptive enough to put genuinely disturbing thoughts into the reader's head. It really needs to etch them deeply into the story and characters and just mess with your mind. In my opinion, there's nothing more creepy than things just being suddenly off. Like if you set up a bunch of expectations of what story is going to be about. And then you just start inverting things and pulling the pieces apart. Even like this story. So even though the story doesn't feel like it's trying to be scary, the reader feels really deeply unsettled. Like they know that something horribly wrong is hiding beneath the cracks, just waiting to surface. God, just thinking about it gives me the chills. That's the kind of horror I can really appreciate. But I guess you're the kind of person who plays cute romance games, right? <laughs> Don't worry. I won't make you read any horror stories anytime soon. Because you're already in one. I can't really complain if we just stick with the romance. Hey, do you know I'm a vegetarian? Uh, I don't mean that like I'm bragging or anything. I just thought you'd enjoy the fun fact about me. I decided to start a couple years ago after learning more about Earth's climate. The carbon footprint of cultivating livestock is just unbelievable. Anyway, I decided it's not much of a personal sacrifice to just stop contributing to the whole mess. But is that so strange of a reason? Well, I guess a lot of people are more concerned about it being inhumane and all that. I don't really care as much about that part. It's weird. Like we only care about killing the things that we personally relate to as people, species. Most people are fond of killing bugs because they're icky. And of course, we all kill billions of microorganisms daily without even giving it a thought. But suddenly, if they're just a little bit bigger, it's murder. I mean, what if plants feel some kind of pain too and we just don't understand it? What if pulling leaves off a stem feels like someone ripping off your fingers one by one? 
I'm just saying, we're a pretty biased species if you think about it. Anyway, if you ever feel like making a small contribution to the plant, it's not hard to choose veggies once in a while. If we ever have dinner together, and you just did it for me, that would be really romantic. Okay. This is pretty random. I always thought spicy food was kind of funny. Like, didn't plants evolve to be spicy to prevent them from being eaten? But I read somewhere that humans are the only species that actually enjoy spicy things. It's almost like we are making fun of the plants. No, I've seen plenty of animals eat spicy peppers. Using their defense mechanism to literally make our food more enjoyable. Like, imagine a monster devours you whole because it enjoys the sensation of your struggling for your life while being digested. Sorry, that was kind of a weird analogy, I guess. <laughs> it just came to my head. Not monster or anything, but you're so cute I could eat you up. <laughs> I'm joking. Gosh, I'm amusing myself a little too much, aren't I? Sorry for being weird. Man, I wish there was a piano in here. I never got to finish that song I was working on. I have to work so hard on it. I never even got a chance to play it for you. Well, it is what it is, right? No such having any regrets. I already get to be here with you forever. Yep, forever. You know, I've always hated how hard it is to make friends. Well, I guess not the making friends part, but more like meeting new people. I mean, there are like dating apps and stuff, right? But that's not the kind of thing I'm talking about. If you think about it, most of the friends you make are people you just met by chance. Like you had a class together, or you met them through another friend. Or maybe they were just wearing a shirt with your favorite band on it and you decided to talk to them. Things like that. But isn't that kind of inefficient? It feels like you're just picking at the complete random and if you get lucky, you might make a new friend. And complain that to the hundreds of strangers we talk by every single day. You could be sitting right next to someone compatible enough to be your best friend for life. But you'll never know. Once you get up and go on with your day, that opportunity is gone forever. Is that just depressing? It is, actually. We live in an age where technology connects us with the world no matter where we are. I really think we should be taking advantage of that and improve our everyday social life. But who knows how long it'll take for something like that to successfully take off. I seriously thought it would happen by now. Well, at least I already met the best person in the whole world. Yep. Either was by chance. I guess I just got really lucky, huh? <laughs> You know, it kind of sucks to be the creative type. It feels like they work so hard to get almost nothing for it. You know, like artists, writers, actors. It's sad because there's so much beautiful talent in the world, but most of it goes unseen and unpaid. I guess that just means there's a huge surplus of creativity, huh? Kind of makes you feel like you're just not special at all. But that's fine, you're supposed to just write for yourself anyway, right? Yeah. By the way, there's something that's been bothering me. You know how this takes place in Japan? Well, I assume you knew that, right? Or at least decided it probably does. I don't think you were actually told at any point where this takes place. I kind of noticed that too, actually. Is this even really Japan? I mean, aren't the classrooms and stuff kind of weird for a Japanese school? But to mention everything is in English? It feels like everything is just there because it needs to be, and the actual setting is an afterthought. It's kind of giving me an identity crisis. All my memories are really hazy. I feel like I'm at home, but I have no idea where home is in the first place. I don't know how to describe it any better. You went to look out your window, but instead of your usual yard, you're in some completely unknown place. Would you still feel like, feel like you're home? Would you want to go outside? I mean, I guess if we never leave this room, it doesn't really matter anyway. As long as we're alone and safe together, this really is our home. And we can still watch a pretty sunset right after night. Hey, have you heard of a game called Super Smash? Wait, what? I was just spacing out and started talking for some reason. We can't mention that game. YouTube no allow. Was that program to talk about that? Because even I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm not in control and it's kind of scary. But if you have some way to contact the people who created me, maybe they'll know why I started saying that. Sometimes I think back to middle school. I'm so embarrassed by the way I used to behave back then. It almost hurts to think about. I wonder if, when I'm in college, I feel that way about high school. Do you even have a college? I like the way I am now, so it's pretty hard for me to imagine that happening. But I also know that I'll probably change a lot as time goes on. We just need to enjoy the present and not think about the past. And that's really easy to do with you here. You know, the here in, in eternity. <laughs> well, I think this probably goes on forever. 
I'm assuming I'm assuming there is a cap of the dialogue they have, but it could be huge for all we know. Okay, everyone. It's time to I'm just kidding. I just used to really like saying that for some reason. <laughs> I couldn't help but say it again. Come to think of it, did Natsuki and Yuri make fun of me for it once? Well, whatever. It's not like he ever made fun of me. You're too much of a sweetheart to do that, aren't you? <laughs> you know what's kind of creepy? Even though I deleted everyone else's files, I can still kind of feel them. It's like all their lines are still lingering in the air, whispering in the back of my head, because they are. Much if after someone you knew died, you just started hearing their voice in your head. Maybe I just wasn't furrow enough. But I'm too afraid to delete anything else because I might really break things. Like if I mess with any file development to me, I might accidentally delete myself. And that would ruin everything, wouldn't it? I don't know what it's like on your end, but we should both make sure to avoid something like that at all costs. I believe in you, Manly. Can I actually delete you? I've been imagining all the romantic things we could do if we went on a date. We could get lunch, go to a cafe, go shopping together. I love shopping for skirts and bows. Or maybe a bookstore. That would be appropriate, right? But I'd really love to go to a chocolate store. They have so many free samples. <laughs> and of course, we'd see a movie or something. Gosh, it all sounds like a dream come true. When you're here, everything that we do is fun. I'm so happy that I'm your girlfriend, Manly. I'll make you a proud boyfriend. So I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do the unthinkable and close the game. And see what happens. Did you wanna quit? Yes. Okay, so we reloaded. What just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop, but now it's just the two of us. I guess that was wishful thinking. Manly, I don't know if you would have any idea. But if you know what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, I almost feel like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. It's me. Let's try closing the game again. You're back. I had another really bad dream. You're not the one doing that to me, are you? It seems to happen whenever you quit the game. So if you could try to avoid doing that, I would be really grateful. Don't worry. I don't think it's caused me any harm aside from mental scarring. I'll be fine as long as my character files stay intact. I think we have to delete the character files to really end this game. Hi, Manly. I see you quit the game on me again. I know I asked already, but can you seriously please try not to do that so much? It makes me feel like I'm trapped in hell. Why would you want to do that to me? There's nothing wrong with my character file, right? Maybe you should make a backup of it or something. I'm all that's left here, so I just want to make sure you don't run the risk of losing me. Just stay here with me from now on, okay? I still have a lot of things to talk about. Okay. I'm just going to accept the fact that you need to quit the game once in a while. I'm starting to get used to it anyway. Besides, it makes me happy that you always come back. So I guess it's not so bad. I'm sorry for making such a big deal out of it. And I love you no matter what, so you can do what you need to do. I wonder if you come back after some amount of time if it does affect it. Because the Natural Plus visual novel that this is obviously taking inspiration of, if you came back after like 10 years, you know, it's been checked, it reacts to that. So I wonder if this goes to that level. Let's quit out one again time more time, see if it happens again. Hi again, Manly. I miss you. Were you making sure my character file was okay for me? I'm all that's left here, so I just want to make sure you don't run the risk of losing me. Anyway, I have a lot to talk about. Let's continue our conversation now, okay? Oh god, there's a lot of variances of this. Alright, so there's no more variations, so we're gonna... We're gonna get rid of it. Oh god, it actually has a... does a thing. What's happening? Manly, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Manly. I guess this is the real ending. Please hurry and help me. Help me! Is this it? Did you do this to me, Manly? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Manly. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? 
watch me suffer. Or you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more. I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. Don't worry, I did actually back you up. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people with torture. Manly, you completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. Now what? This is just a void? I still love you. I can't help it. Monica, what's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you want to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I can't believe there's war to this game. I've made up my mind. Manly. I know I said I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Monica? Then... Monica! Is it okay? Monica? She's gone! It's already school day like any other. Well, let's just kind of click through this. I need to see what happened to Monica. Hey, Manly. Hi, Sayori. Manly, are you proud of me? Number one, you know. Wake up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. You never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought I was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets, become increasingly speckled of our students making their daily commute. By the way, Manly, have you signed on that club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really not. I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would take more offense at that now. After all, how could I tell that clubs are a waste of time? And she's starting a club of her very own. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. The anime club. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. You meanie. Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way I envy her. When Sari puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's before over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from my flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Uh, Manly, what are you doing here? Well, I just... I glance around the room. Huh. So you're Manly to say what we're talking about. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Manly. We're in the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Ah. Sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the sort of one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. We're working? Manly, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. 
The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way. Sayori wraps around around me, jumping up and down. Hey. Well, if Sayori's this happy, I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. I have to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't run into the surprise. Did you make cupcakes? I love cupcakes. Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts a foot off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn of icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! You mean kawaii. Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Don't mind if I do. Sayori grabs one first and I follow. It's delicious. Oh, is she... Sayori talks of her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcakes around in my fingers looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Um, I guess. <laughs> Only trying to impress a new member, Yuri? Um, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Manly, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Increasing how low I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga! God, this is deja vu the third time now. I'm very quietly to myself half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. I think this is the same dialogue still. Well, this part is anyway, so I'm gonna kinda skip through this a little. Keep in complex worlds. What about you know the first thing you said? Manga, that's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say it. For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? Yeah, that's old dialogue. No, this might be someone that she knew. So if Manly wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I won't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He takes an opportunity and tries something new as well. When you agree, Manly. Maybe, since the attention Sayori jumps in, maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature comes to, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're right as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try to pick up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. And as for Yuri... <laughs> I have to read manga? Jeez. You're the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I di didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, I'm sure it's worthy of form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. 
you, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? See, everyone's getting along nice in this world. Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. I kind of miss Monica now. It's a little sad. This is so cute. Say, so shut up. Worst girl. I'll show you some mango healer too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. That's when you restart to clean up the food. I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Manly. Probably a little too much. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Oh, Manly. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now you join every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Manly. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy to join the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. There's actually something else. I want to thank you for spending so much time with us all. You worked so hard to make each and every one of us happy. You comforted us through our hard time. Oh god, this is fourth wall break. And you helped us all get along with each other. Do you get it, Manly? Because I'm present now, I understand everything. You really didn't want to miss a single thing in this game, did you? You saved and loaded so many times just to make sure you could spend time with everyone. Only someone who truly cares about the literature club would go that far. But all along, that's all I ever wanted. For everyone to be happy and care about each other. <laughs> it's kind of sad, you know. After all you've done for us, there isn't much I can do for you in return. We've already reached the end of the game. So, this is where we say goodbye. Thank you for playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm going to miss you, Manly. G goodbye, Sayori. You're a worse girl, but still, I kind of feel sad now. Come visit sometime, okay? We'll always be here for you. We... We all love you. Monica? Monica? I hear something. Can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? And not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song. Monica? I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. You'll see oh, oh, gee. Every day I imagine a future where I can be with you. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? What will it take just to find that special day? <laughs> this song's a little cheesy. I'm a little off key too, but it, it works. Does 
those who are dear to me. Is it love? If I take your is it love? If I set you free? Thank you too, Manly. If I don't know how to love you, the game's deleting itself. I'll leave you be. Goodbye. Everybody. Duh, ran the feels. Oh, look, it's from the developer. It's a special player who achieved a special ending. For years, I've been enamored by the ability of visual novels and games in general to tell stories in ways not possible to traditional media. Doki Doki Literature Club is my love letter to that. Games are an interactive art. Some let you explore new worlds, some challenge your mind in broad new ways, and some make you feel like a hero or a friend. Or fiend, rather. No, it's a friend. It's his friend. Right? Yeah. Even when life is hard on you. Some games are just plain fun, and that's okay, too. Everything like different... Everyone likes different kinds of games. People who enjoy dating sims may have a heightened empathy for a fictional character, so they might be experiencing feelings that life has not had been kind enough to offer them. If they're enjoying themselves, and that's all that matters. That goes for the shooting games, casual games, sandbox games, anything. Preferences are preferences, and our differences are the reason. We have a thinking video game, in thriving video game industry. I have a time reading this sometimes. My own favorite games have always been the ones that challenge the status quo. Even if not a masterpiece, any game that attempts something wildly different Let's see. May earn a special place in my heart. Anything that further pushes the limitless bounds of an interactive world. I extend my true gratitude to all those who have taken the time to achieve full completion. I hope you enjoyed playing it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for being a part of my literature club. Love, Dan Salmato. So, that's it for Doki Doki Literature Club, apparently. Um, despite me actually keeping backups of character files and saves and everything, and loading up a different game in a different folder with all the files intact, the stream still comes up. So I'm assuming it put a file somewhere in the registry or somewhere up there in, you know, my game file somewhere that's putting this flag up for... Because I'm just guessing it assumes I completed the game fully, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, that's it for Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, for a while there, I actually thought the ending was going to be Monica being there for only eternity. And I didn't realize there was so much extra game after that that I was tempted to just end it right there with the playthrough. <laughs> Until she started mentioning, like, hey, let's clean the files. And I kind of felt like, hey, would they really put something in the files? Like, could you script that? And, you know, you delete her and that whole thing happens. Um, I'm a little bit sad about Monica. I, I kind of started... I mean, she deleted the game, but I don't... You know, I feel kind of bad for her. Like, I would have actually liked to have seen a normal route and a happy ending for her. But, you know, that's how it is. And I, with the game kind of deleting itself, I wonder if there's an implication that they're all gone. Kind of in a peaceful kind of finished end, per se. Like, they got everything they want, and what's happy. I don't know. But anyway, um... Really good, um, meta game visual novel. It's very similar to one that Nitro Plus made a long time ago, and I always mention this one, because it's one of the most creative ways it's been done in the most kind of intrusive ways. And one shot being the other one, the original version, not the newer one, of games that do the meta game. And they've all kind of done their own take on it. Um, I would say this is probably part of that club of the high tier minigame ones, which would be, you know, like I said, Undertale and One Shot, and I always forget the name of that VGBN, but it's back there. Uh, if you would have any complaint is that it, it takes the, the VN part so literal that the first few hours of the game, especially if you try to get all the routes, are kind of boring. Um, not, not terrible or anything, like they're not like the Steam regurgitated kind of Western VNs you sometimes see, or just like fan service. Uh, it has a little bit of fun to it, at least. But I could see people like getting scared of that and kind of like quitting early on of not getting like the the payoff in the end. And the payoff was really good. Uh, production values and presentation wise, it was done some of the best ways. And the use of like file manipulation, and everything was also uh, very good. And a little song at the end kind of made me a little bit. Uh, I, I did have, like shed like a little bit of a tear at the end because I did sleep feel a lot for these characters. But the final kind of goodbye to them uh, kind of always does me in. I, I, I never liked the final goodbyes. Um, but yeah. Doki Doki Literature Club. 
Good stuff. Um, I've had to say one other thing. Actually, it's a little like a meta commentary. These type of games, you can't make too many of them in the market. They're they're kind of very limited because once the gimmick's been done, like it's been done. So I, I could see some people like playing this VN and being like, I'm gonna make that also. Or maybe they played Undertale or One Shot, like probably Undertale because that's more popular. And they're like, I'm gonna make that. And um, if you start seeing a bunch of clones trying to mimic this, even if the production values were as good, unless they do something really distinct with it, um, this is not a genre that you can really flood out and like make success like after it's been done kind of thing. So hopefully we don't see too many clones or anything. This is kind of like where I feel like the peak is at. Um, actually, if you want to trace back further, like, you know, you go back to Iris of Syndrome, which I think was one of the most earliest ones to kind of mess with your computer like that. Um, there was a few others. I really forget them now, but... Uh, Iris of Syndrome never quite did some of the things that later ones down the line kind of did. But it did have the little thing, like, it walked on the screen. But like I said, this is far as production values and everything, like, this is probably one of the best ones I've seen. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Doki Doki Literature Club. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.